sasa haya Allah raham kana al commandante alikuja kuchukuliwa na Samora Machel Samora alizungumza na mwalimu na alijua kwa uhakika kwamba Ali is innocent akamchukua akaondoka akaenda zake Mozambique alipofika Mozambique akakaa pahali penye heshima hasa jumba kubwa nzuri sana nimeiona mimi na alikuwa ni mshauri mkuu wake kuna picha ambazo yeye banda sio banda nani ni, ni banda msumbiji pamoja na mwenyewe mheshimiwa Samora walikuwa wana strategize ile nyumba yake akana mafudhu ukienda ukitizama utakuta kawacha yale walikuwa South Africans walikuwa wanakuja na bazuka yale wanapigana wanaipiga nyumba kwa sababu anajua here there here lives this man. Kwa hivyo Samora alimchukua al commandante back home. Ali ni mtu wa Msumbiji na ni Mzanzibari. Born here but ancestorship wao kule Che Mataka wa Kiembe ndo hao wa hiao. Nifahamu eh? So he was taken with all respect na aliendesha vita hasa na aliweza kuleta uhuru wa Msumbiji itakuwa vipi mimi nipokewe na gari ya rais tuwekwe ali azikwe bendera ziko nusu ikiwa yule mtu hawa recognized hiyo ni Mozambique not Zanzibar not even once do they talk about him mfahamu eh you see the difference amekuwa recognized across borders Mozambique Angola South Africa kote unachokutaja he is there. Watu wanamzungumza. Lakini hapa nyumbani hamna hiyo wameilaza kabisa. Ikiwa Museveni katuita mbele ya kina Sarungi, mbele ya mawaziri kutoka Kenya na wapi ana recognize it's big. It's very big I mean, you know? Deja vu. He came there to see what he got. Okay? tuko tumepewa recognition from a president of of Uganda who is alive until today Chisano yuko hai mpaka leo recognize bendera ziko half mast hapa they don't recognize hata hao wengine maybe now he now is uh, different i don't want to get into that but what i'm talking about is how we recognize what wow hata wa zamani wengi tu hawa recognize lakini hawa watu wame cross borders for african liberation ndio maana mwalimu aliweka lile jambo african liberation and that's why ndio benito tunazungumza tuko pamoja katika nchi but we got to be alert again wanaanza kutuvamia south wanaingia north tayari sijui nani sijui faransa sijui nani watajijua wenyewe wanaanza let us stop tujue nini tunafanya third force ni nyinyi the intelligent young people who know what you want talk freely we know the boundaries mimi wamenionea sana baba sana is naila they have very very bad nafahamu tuko tunasikiliza kesi mimi na mama yake sultani baba yake sultani akamatwa na kanal mafuth wote mimi pale wameandika kartasi mkatolewa kwenye line isiingie ndani inalisopanywa wameandika kartasi imeandikwa Naila X Tell you what me alafu ametia right on the right hand side kaambia sikiliza alikuwa huyo Mandela nikamwambia nakwambia vipi mie kwanza situmi wino mweusi mie natumia wino wa zambarau tu ambao Kenya nilizuiwa mie anautumia Kenya hata nakwambia hivi mimi tena ni left handed siwezi ku sign right umeandika wewe mke ukimuuliza huyo mama yake sultani atakwambia that is the truth umeona hiyo they try to make traps lakini traps zao zilikuwa za vijiti vya chukuti because they had so much hatred against us we are born here mfahamu eh so hiyo may overlook not only that they came and took over and closed my hotel with no reason akaingia uh, uh, ringo tenga akaingia george kakoti maria kisonda na sultani alikuepo struggle money you know out of it i went to court uyo salmin amur tukamuita katika mahakama aje alivokata alikuwa judge kanonyele mwisho tukawashinda kufungua hoteli 
Then they brought me Ramba Ramba from Tanga to torch the place. They torched my hotel. 2004. Hear that? Wamekuja balozo Amerikani, balozo Kingereza, wamekuja Uganda. You know what they said? There was war here. Watoto wangu wa kike, do you hear that? This is what Zanzibar was all about. And I think it's still on. But Mwinyi is trying to hold it together. Because the refraps, as Sultan call, calls them, maybe Sebi or Mekwenda in hiding. But they did that to me, closed it, torched it, put me behind bars. I mean, what? For what? Hakuna kitu kasema, she did this. But I saw they went after my son. When they started hurting my kids, I knew I had to get out, get the kids out. And I thank people who took me out of that place because it was well arranged and I was able to leave. Hi, Asante and Naila. Mimi naomba nikuulize swali moja. Eh umetuambia kwamba alikuja kanal alikuja kuchukuliwa na 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 Samora mwenyewe na akapelekwa Msumbiji. Na naomba mimi nakuuliza maswali tu ya ndio na hapana. Ni sahihi, sio? Eh eh kabisa. Okay. Sasa wakati akichukuliwa wakati alipochukuliwa na kupelekwa Msumbiji na akaenda kuwa mshauri wake kule Msumbiji wewe wakati huo ulikuwa wapi wakati huo wewe bado ulikuwaepo Zanzibar ama ulikuwa uhamishoni na kama ulikuwa uhamishoni ni kwa nini ulikuwa uhamishoni Nilikuwa niko Kuwait ambao babangu alikuwa yuko huko He heard about my state na ndugu zangu wako kule vile vile wameolewa wawili kule father kanichukua kule na watoto wakaanza kusomeshwa kiingereza ili waweze ku get into it nilikwenda kule lakini tulikuwa na communications nilikuwa nikijua what was going on is that a yes for you oh yes yes exactly kwa hiyo wakati huo unaondoka Zanzibar yeye kanal alikuwa bado yuko kifungoni si ndio Mozambique ah uh, alikuwa yeye kanal alikuwa yuko Mozambique eh hey. Alikuwa tayari huko Mozambique. Kwa sababu unakumbuka mimi nilibidi wa arrange and my my living here had to be arranged because they were after me in so many ways. So arrangement ikabidi niondoke. Sikupita Dar es Salaam mimi, nilipita vingine. Okay. Ona sikuja okay. kwenye boat. That's no. really interesting. That's really really interesting. Yeah. No, no, there are people who care, Benito. People who care, people yeah. who know the truth. They are ready to hang on a limb so that they can pull you up of the quagmire. Si. Sasa, ai kwa hiyo wewe uliwahi kwenda kuishi na na kanal kule Msumbiji? Nilikuwa nakwenda nikirudi. Ah, okay. Nakwenda, narudi kwa sababu watoto tuliwaweka kusoma Kuwait. Alafu mdogo wangu alikuwa anafanya kazi na Apollo Systems Marekani nikawachukua tukaenda Marekani tukakaa kule wakasoma watoto alafu tena ndio nikarudi Zanzibar I came back by Dubai Dubai Zanzibar But we were in touch all the time na watu wa Zanzibar kwa sababu wazee wangu wapo ami yangu yupo ami zangu halti zangu wazee wangu wapo you know so we were in touch lakini zilikuwa ziko simu zile za za, za kawaida zile zinalia kengele ilikuwa hatuna kama hizi za mkononi bado ah, okay okay na haya maswali na kuuliza makusudi anti kwa sababu tunataka kujenga time frame hapa vizuri ili watu wafahamu kila yani eh, all the details ambazo eh, unapenda na ungependa wazifahamu na wapi wangependa wazifahamu na <laughs> na kitu kimoja ambacho pia tungependa kukifahamu hebu tuambie eh, kanal alikaa eh, alika huko eh, alika kifungoni alikaa kifungoni ilikuwa ni, 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 ni mwaka gani alitoka na wewe wakati huo akiwa kifungoni hali yako ya kimaisha ilikuwaje ulikuwa na ulikuwa unapata struggle gani za kimaisha changamoto gani ulikuwa ukikutana nazo kila siku E, kuna mahali ambapo uliwahi kupata kizuizi ama ku, eh, ku, kuzuiliwa ama ku, kukerwa ama kuteswa ama kunyanyaswa kwa namna moja ama nyingine kwa sababu tu kana ilikuwa iko ndani na pia ulituambia kwamba ulipata mafunzo ya kijeshi pia kidogo kigusia hapo 
ulikuwa ne, uh, ulikuwa na mafunzo ya inajaje uliwahi kuwa e, mwanajeshi formally na ukavaa uniformu na ukawa na cheo ama vipi karibu asante labda nikujibu kwanza hilo la mwisho sisi wake zao wote pale except mke wa Sarakikea ilikuwa tunafundishwa wakati in case tumevamiwa tuweze kukaa katika trenches mashimo yale na tuweze ku observe what was going on lakini tulikuwa tunafundishwa kujikinga take care vitu kama hivyo ndani ya Lugalo barracks na alikuwa akitufundisha ni meja chacha alipokuwa akitusomesha mimi sikuwa na rank none of us had ranks lakini tulikuwa tunavaa uniform like what they are wearing minus hatukuwa na vyeo sisi tulikuwa in, wale wanaume wote wametoka ule mji sio watu wanakimbia wale watu tuweze kuhami na sisi tulikuwa tumefundishwa tactics tumefundishwa to an extent to an extent not a hundred percent yes after that mimi si nimekwambia kama amenitoa hospitali mtoto yule amekufa na kanal hayupo wamenifanya ni walk out they kick me out of the place ingekuwa mami zangu wazee wangu hawapo ningekuwa on the streets with the two kids all right so hapo nimeanza straight away ni hivyo naumwa naumwa nikamtuma yule kijana wangu wa pemba anaitwa Mohamedi akatoka nenda kanua samaki akanunua samaki kawa naanza kupika kachesi za samaki na kababu za nyama na mpa ndugu yangu marhem Said Kinde al Said anakwenda kuuza anakwenda kuwauzia maofisini mwao nauza anauza anarudisha pesa na nunua anafanya hivyo na mama yake sultani alikuwa anafanya visheti mimi nafanya kachesi na kababu nauza hichi nafanya nilikuwa ndo non stop you know but i was cooking from the home kwa sababu nilikuwa nanizuia nisipate unga wala mchele wala sukari wala mafuta ni wala mafuta nikiwa nimekwenda duka la uko niko darajani pale sasa au watu wanauza mikate unapewa buku unachukua ration yako they stop me benito and i had children ha ah, crimes man yeah alafu anajidai nini hao pole pole eh kuna watoto wamezoesikiliza basi hapo na kufahamisha Mungu yupo hapo mimi nilikuwa narudi nyumbani hakuna chakula yule ndugu yangu analeta zile pesa ndogo ndogo tunasaidiana hivyo hivyo na noa hiji nafanya nauza tunapata chochote nimekaa pale nyumbani akaja mtu nikaambiwa unaitwa chini nikashuka chini Binaila ndio simjui mtu mwenyewe mswahili kavaa shati la mfuko wa unga mweupe na suruali ya kipande chukua hiyo nikatizama nikaona debe la la samli akanipa na kipolo cha unga na akanipa mchele kamuliza kiasi gani akanambia kiasi gani eh akaondoka alivondoka tu yule mtu wangu akaja akanambia unamjua nani yule uh, yule mwenda azimu anaitwa Abu Wahka hana wazimu watu wote Zanzibar wanamjua yule babu alikuwa ananiletea chakula kwa sababu yeye alikuwa there responsible he made sure he bought kwa sababu alimuona yeye mswahili ndio alimpa vile vitu kwa hivyo akinunua 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 afikira pewa kilo kilo moja akaweka ananiletea kwa wakati ule ilikuwa haifiki hata shilingi 1000 yule babu kakataa pesa wallahi na kuwapia anaitwa Abu Waka kafa mafudhi alivyokuja mwanangu kutoka Ulaya nikamwambia twende tukamtafuta tukaenda tukamuona akanambia unakumbuka ndio kwa nikikuletea vitu the man was not crazy but he saw vipi unavyokuwa unaminywa unaonewa akiniletea chakula ndani ya nyumba ndio nikaanza kupika mama yake sultani anapika sheti mimi napika katlesi napika kababu na huku nanunua vitu va wa wa antique waarabu walikuwa nakimbia katika majumba na nunua wanakuja wahindi kutoka Kenya na wauzia napata dola napata dola ndio nikaweka mwisho that's how i left some things i don't want to say them because you know we live here mimi wamenifungia hoteli 
wamenieka ndani wamenichomea hoteli sasa hivi hoteli yangu imevamiwa wameivuruga and there is a minister of tourism none of them care man because Naila Jidawi ali mafood lakini i'm way about them mimi niligombania mwanamke wa kwanza ndo niligombania urais samia kaja hiyo kaupata mimi nilisimama hasan katoa shilingi milioni moja when fahamu wakati huo nshatoka kaf we disagreed on some things but remember kwa mwanzo nilikwambia mimi najua kusema no na yes and i know my space kwa hivyo tulivodifana na maalim sefu nkaondoka nikaingia kuambatia maona nimesimama tumezunguka katika nchi hii and we got followers therefore wamekuwa threatened both ccm and cuf wakaona eh maneno ya said barash i have to choose which eye to lose right eye wangereza or left eye za warabu so what they did suku milie mbali huko nikapigwa chengure moja huko ngaka upande last minute not out sefu akasema mimi i don't belong to his political party you know these things i don't want to talk with them because the man is different let's not talk about these things lakini nakwambia nimesimamia uraisi nikasimamia makamu wa rais na marehemu dr mvungi nimekwenda katika chombo cha kusomeshwa jamani dr mvungi mabuku yake na vitu vyake tuvifate i saw the whole of tanzania people are ready for changes mimi wakati ule tunazungumza tunakwenda na dr mvungi he was president i was vice president kwa hivyo my political career nilikuwa member of parliament ndo nkaweka private members ocean uh, motion 1996 mpaka ya 2000 nikaona hapa platform ya politics haipo haipo aidha uvae nguo za kijani au nguo nyingine no watch i were open field let's talk about issue to talk about policy let's talk about development this is what we need to do tizama watoto wetu unawasomesha vipi hawa wapate hawa sipate Eh yuko mmoja kauliza swali hapo watoto wa Kihizbu eh walikuwa watoto wengine wanazuiwa baba it is true you see ilikuja mpaka kina viongozi fulani wakaandika vitabu vya uongo nataka kuataje tu ambapo you historia Zanzibar uongo nyingine mimi anasema hayo mengine twende nayo kama hivi tunavyokwenda vizuri toka 1972 mimi nimeula mrututu hasa kwa kuona kana mafuo pesa kazi but you know i'm always floating mepata wanawake wanasuka kili mewanulia charahani wanafanya mikoba kuna ndugu yangu ile aliolewa kuweta akasema dada lete nikampa mtu akapeleka vikapu 250 nikapata pesa nzuri nikanunua kigari nikaanza kufanya mambo you know I always look forward for an opportunity that's why I say diasporans come back but with an issue and we move on them it's done are the kona fasi tumsaidie sio uchumi wa blue kuna so many other aspects naona nimesema sana pe nafasi mtu